Hello, hi guys, my name is Sarvansh and thank you for watching my the Intune tutorial videos. So today's video we are going to talk about the flowchart for Win32 app deployment. So we'll learn how we can deploy a app or how we can create a Win32 app with the with the help of flowchart. So let me start this video. Now here is the agenda. What are the topics we are going to cover up in this video? Uh, process flow to create a .intune win file then flowchart to add a win32 app to intune then the flow behind uh, deployment of a win32 application from intune the flow behind delivery of a uh, win32 app to the client so let us start uh, with the process flow to create a uh, .intune win file. So first let's start and now here is a gather media. So uh, whichever application you want to deploy by the Intune, you should gather that media. Then validate command for the install and uninstall. Before going to deploy it, you need to validate it manually uh, whether your command line is working or not for install and uninstall. Then create an Intune file uh, with the help of the tool I will be explaining in coming slide. So is less than 8 GB. If your package is less than 8 GB, then uh, if it is not less than the 8 GB, then clean up media and reduce the file size so if it is more than 8 GB then you need to reduce that media size because more than 8 GB you cannot deploy via the Intune then after your cleanup is less than 8 GB if yes then create a Intune file if no then solution will not meet the requirement if you are trying to deploy any media or any application which is more than 8 GB then that solution will not meet the requirement if it is yes is uh, less than the 8 GB then yes so specify the source installer folder the setup file to run and add the output folder to the Intune file so this is the flow to how you can create the your uh, dot Intune win file. Let's see the next flow the flow chart to add a win32 app to Intune. So let us start this flow chart. So start first, you need to select win32, then upload the uh, Intune win file, then configure app information, then configure app installation detail then configuring app requirement and now here is the condition which detection method so when you configure the app requirement so which detection method is going to use so if it is a custom then you need to use the powershell powershell script then configure return code if it is a manual then which type of rule you want to use it then if it is a MSI, uh, you can use the which type of rule. It can be a MSI. Then again, it will be configuring the return code. You can uh, configure the rule based on the registry. Then again, it will go to the configure code. And if it is a file or folder, then again, it will back to the configure return code. And finally, you can able to create your application so this is like a flow chart which i try to uh, cover up all the process in a single chart let us understand something more in depth like the flow behind a deployment of a win32 application so let us try to understand meet the prerequisite so what is the prerequisite so device must be enrolled into intune second device must be AADI or HAADI. The OS version higher than 1607. If your OS version is less than 1607, then you cannot deploy that app to the end user machine. And the app file size less than the 
8 GB. So this file size should be less than the 8 GB. If it is more than 8 GB, then you cannot deploy that application. Now, uh, gather the media and identify the application. So what what are the things you are going to check here? The file should be unzipped, decrypt, and located in a single folder. Then identify the install uninstall command and what are the things we're going to check here like run the setup file locally in your machine without intune and verify the installation or run silently if this is matching the requirement then only you can proceed then uh, download the uh, conversion tool and the package the app so there is a tool from the microsoft the tool you can use to convert the your application into dot intune win file so download uh, download the intune app util file that you can easily get it from the microsoft site and package the file to be deployed so you can follow the process how you can package that file into dot intune uh, win extension and then upload and deploy the intune file so uh, what are the requirement to deploy it upload uh, the dot intune win file to intune configure the in uh, install and uninstall commands requirement detection rule and the dependencies let us understand the flow behind delivery of a win32 app to the client so here is dot intune win file is created and uploaded to the app section into the in the portal next step will be intune decompress the package folder and acquire the detection dot xml so basically what happen when you upload any file that is a dot intune win file into uh, Intune console so that Intune will decompress the package and that folder and it will acquire the detection.xml file. Then the next step a request from the end device and user device arrived for the app download. So then once you create it, then that the request will reach to the client side. After that, the download URL pointing to the dot intune win file that uh, is presented to the device that detection dot XML file is also delivered to decrypt the app package. So when when that request is reached to the intune, then your the detection dot XML file also will be delivered to your end user machine. So the device reach out to the URL to fetch the app package and the dot XML file. So when your device is reaching to Intune, uh, I mean by using the URL, then it will contain two things. One is the app package and another is the dot XML file. So the device must adhere the rule set of the admin uh, set by the admin for the application download to begin so guys this is uh, just a small part which i was trying to cover up in my the flow chart to, uh, to make you understand how the package creation work and the how you can upload your media and then how the package will reach to the client so this is the small example and now i'm going to create a one more video after your deployment uh, when you deploy any application to the end user device so what actually happen on the uh, in on the device that i will be going to create a video for this so guys thank you for watching this video see you soon in my next video